Welcome to another Tableau video. Today we're going to talk about percentile. We have the information that we're looking for here. It's got different levels. We want to get the percentile by the amount of, this is time. So we bring the time over to the rows pill, change it to discrete, and now we're going to come down, do a quick table calculation, and select percentile. I'm just going to change this real quick to, so it's a little bit easier to read. Come over here to number format, percentage, one decimal. Alright, so this gives us the percentile. It gives us the percentile for the entire data set. What we want is I want to know the percentile by for just John, John's top percent. Click on the, the pill, come down here. This is where it gets confusing. You might say compute using and you see name, so you select that. What you want to do is you want to edit the table calculation. Looks very similar. You're going to hit select dimensions, and now it's counter. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to unselect the level at which you want the calculation to be performed. So we want it to be performed at the name level. You can see here with Tom, go through across, it's 100%. If we wanted to do the top percentiles just by each search, we would unselect it. And you would have, there's 100% here and 100% here. Another way to think about it is which rows or which columns are going to be included or used in the percentile. In this case, we're only going to look at the results, or this is the level at which we're going to calculate the percentile. Another option we have is there's an actually a percentile function. Over here, create a calculated field. And we're going to say percentile. We want to know the 75th percentile. Type in percentile. We go, this is the field we want, the expression. We want that over time. 0.75. We're looking for the 75th percentile. And hit OK. Now when we bring the 75th percentile over, change this to discrete. Wait a minute, something's wrong here. Right? The reason is because this formula is being calculated on each row, right? It's saying, okay, which one is the 75th percentile for this row? That's one. Which is the 75th percentile for this one? So you get each number. So what you want to do in this case is you want to fix the level of detail. In this case, we had talked about wanting it at John's level, so we're going to at each name, oops, and now you put a colon, and then you just put in the uh, the function that you wanted. Don't forget you'll have to close with a curly paren or a curly bracket. That's where the trick is. So you have fixed. At what level do you want the the this table calculation to be performed at? A colon, and then you open and close with a curly bracket. And we should change the formula, so we just have to bring it over again. Get rid of this. There you go. It's the 75th, the 12.75 is the percentile for this group. And with Susan, she has a different level. And Tom. So let's say, let's take this one step further. Maybe we want, not just by the name, comma, but maybe we also want it by the search. Now, to be honest, you could just put in the search and that would take care of it. But if you wanted it, maybe you had multiple um, items that you wanted, multiple fields. And now you can see 100 percentile for search. This has got a 100 percentile. 
as well. So let's take this one step further. Um, since we've walked through how do you calculate the percentile, we're going to edit this formula here. And this is where you actually can start categorizing something. If the time is greater than this function, and we just worked on went through that, you're going to give it a high. If it's greater than 25, so this will mean it's 25, between 25 and 75, give it a medium. And if it's 25 and below, give it a low. Okay? And so we'll bring that over as well. And now you can see, oh, the issue that you are going to run into is this is the high across all of John. Because when we looked at this formula, this was all of John. So to get it the same, we just put in search. Oh, actually. We'll put that search here. Hit a plot, okay. And now you can see, okay, if there is if this is greater than the 75th percentile, let's see here, we need to change this. Edit table calculation. We want the and the time category. It's because we're gonna we want to because we've got that there, we're gonna include that. And so there you go, you've got the 75th percentile for this top for search one is 10.75. So if it is greater than 0.75, and it is, it's listed as high, medium, and lower than 25% is low. Same thing here. And that's helpful because now instead you could take this time category, you can move it to color help you visually identify the high, medium, and low.